Hello, this is a video on how to use uh, a live CD. I've made other videos on that as well, but since the new version of uh, the Ultimate Boot CD has come out, I figured I'd do another version, another video on it. The version that I'm using here will be um, 5.1.1, and um, I use the Ultimate Boot CD for uh, looking at my hard drive for. Uh, low-level formatting my hard drive if I have a new hard drive and I want to move data from one hard drive to another I can use the uh, ultimate CD um, it's just a good uh, CD for using um, for performing different utilities and maintenances on your computer uh, if you want to do data recovery uh, the ultimate CD is pretty good for doing that especially if you have a, um, a computer that will not boot up Usually, if the memory cards are good or the memory sticks is good on your computer, it, you're able to use a live CD. And uh, that's the whole purpose of a live CD, being able to use it so that you can boot off of your memory, off of your computer. Um, it's good for doing that. Just make sure that, uh, that your BIOS settings or your CMOS settings are set to boot off of CD if you're going to use a live CD. Um, also, you, the Ultimate CD comes as a USB um, or as a USB variant and uh, if you use the USB uh, uh, portion, just make sure that um, in, in the uh, CMOS or the BIOS you have your uh, boot order set to uh, boot off of USB device. But anyway. I just thought I'd make this video and show you how to navigate through the Ultimate Boot CD. This is, like I said, this is a real good boot CD. I use it for uh, testing hard drives, testing memory, um, moving data from one point to another. But let's just go ahead and navigate through it, and you'll you'll get a general idea of what you can d use it for. So. Uh, just do this and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see it sorry right now I'm trying to make it to where uh, you can use it and as you can see it goes through the, it's got a bio section and you press enter on that and as you can see it's got different utilities that you can use to uh, erase the BIOS password um, as you can see you can navigate by hitting the down arrow or the up arrow if you want to go back to the main menu go back to the two dots and then press enter and then you have the CPU and then you scroll down or or arrow down hit enter and you can see all of the uh, utilities that you can use for testing out your CPU, looking at CPU information, and things like that. You want to go back to your uh, uh, main menu, just go back to the two, two, the two dots and press enter. And then from CD, CPU, from BIOS, CPU, you got HDD, which is hard drive disk this has a bunch of utilities for the hard drive disk booting, uh, booting, booting off the hard drive data recovery that's for if you wanna if you can't uh, boot up your computer you should be able to, to at least put in a live CD this live CD go to this menu and then from here you can go ahead and choose options for uh, moving your, com your data from one hard drive to another you have diagnosis for checking out your hard drive you have cloning you have disk editing you have disk wiping partition management stuff like that then you go back to the main menu you can also use a memory tester there's plenty of memory testers in here this is good material if you want to use it go back to the main menu Let's see, you got others, you can just press on that. Con boot is a very good utility. You can use that for uh as it says on the bottom, changing out passwords and stuff like that. Go back to the main menu, you can go to peripherals. 
this is real good this stuff is real good for if you want to know what's on your uh, computer let's see as it says here display your uh, CD-ROM and stuff like that let's see and system system is where you can go and you can look up stuff about your computer the main one I use is this one right here that one seems to be very accurate um, I get, it also has a benchmarking tool but I normally u just use it to look up uh, what kind of stuff I have on on a particular system especially if I don't want to crack it open um, but you can go through either one of these some more benchmarking tests go back to the main menu you can go to uh, Part of Magic. I've never used that one before. I've never used this one before. But that's basically it. This is a very good, uh, like I say, this is a live CD, the Ultimate Boot CD, version 5.1.1. If you just go to Google and type that in, you should be able to find it and find out where you can download it and burn it to a, uh, from an ISO to a CD. Um, it's a small, well, it's a it's a medium size uh, ISO. I think it's about 500 megs. It's good enough for a regular to put on a regular CD. Um, but this is what I've been using. I've been using this for years, and mainly, like I say, all I use is the uh, the hard drive one. And I just come in here, choose which one you want. If you want a disk white, you can just press on that, and it'll have options. I use either uh, HDD Erase or HD Shredder. This is uh, if you want a low level format your hard drive, which is normally I suggest you do, especially on a used hard drive that you get. You want to try and low level format it for, you know, for obvious reasons. Um, if you have a brand new hard drive, there's no need to do that. But if you have a brand new hard drive and you want to test the um, test it and make sure it's good you can go down I use this one right here uh, hard drive diagnostics or, or diagnosis and right here you have it what seems to be just about every hard drive diagnostic software conceivable um, these are Western Digital, Hitachi, Samsung, Excelsior, Gateway, Samsung again and then you have further more you got power max c tools i use these a lot especially when i'm installing a, another used hard drive you know if you don't want to buy a brand new hard drive but you want to go somewhere like ebay and buy a spare 40 50 80 100 gig uh, hard drive and you want to make sure that all of the stuff on there is erased and is low level formatted and you want to test it to make sure it's good this utility is excellent for that. I love using the Ultimate CD. It comes in as a very big time saver for me. It helps me out a lot, especially when I'm doing computer diagnostics on the hard drive. And so that's basically it. That's how you would navigate through the Ultimate CD. Um, if you have a problem, like my friend said, they have a problem, their computer won't boot up because of some type of a registry fix you know I would suggest all you do is come down here to hard drive come here depending on what your hard drive is the first thing you probably want to do is like I say I'd go ahead and wipe it clean and I'll come down to disk wiping and then uh, just choose the utility that you want to use like I say I either use hard drive uh, hard drive uh, erase or hard drive shredder they are both excellent tools. Excellent tools for low level formatting your hard drive. I, you know, you're gonna have your choice between one or two or three um, uh, turns of, um, of scrubbing it, of, of low level formatting it. I just do one. One is good enough. If you wanna do more, that's up to you. Then after you do that, you might wanna go back and uh, do a, a diagnosis and, and check it and make sure all the zeros are or have been all zero make sure it's been all zeroed out and everything like that but anyway this is a great tool for using for uh, you know like I say testing out your hard drive testing out your memory testing out different peripherals I think that um, this would do very well for a person
who's interested in it. And then um, that's that's basically it, you know. And then if you want to, you know, you can reboot it again. It'll reboot, and you can take it out, or you can reboot and go back over it again. Come back to the same option if you need to. And um, I think that's it. I think that um, pretty much explains how to use the Ultimate CD. I think you'll enjoy it. I think it'll, um, like like it's done me, I think it'll give you uh, many years of good service. And uh, whenever they come out with a new one, sometimes the versions aren't always as good. If they don't, then I stick with the previous one. If they have one that's better, I usually download that and use it. So. I think this will be a very good utility to add to your uh, toolbox for computers uh, and, and personal PCs. I've used it a lot in the, uh, for the past four or five years and it's, uh, it's done very well for me. So that's the end of this video. Check it out if you get a chance and uh, you have a good day. Bye bye.